hey guys, let's talk about trade alerts and how to interpret the trade alerts from our Discord channel. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and go to our challenge room. And it's the $1,000 challenge. All these are usually expanded. We have the rules section, we have the info center, and we have the trading floor. You can always come here, click on that arrow to minimize any channel that you don't wanna see um, so that you can pay attention to what you want. Now, when you're on the trading floor, right here is where we post the trade alerts. Make sure, right, click on that gear channel. Sorry, guys. Right click on the gear right here. Under the notification settings, make sure you have all messages checked here so that you don't miss out on any message from the facilitator when they post the alerts. If you don't wanna hear anything from there, you can just mute that channel. Same thing with all the other channels. You can come here, right click, and you can mute this whole category if you don't wanna keep getting notifications about this channel. Um, so once you're in there, click on the trade alerts. Anytime an alert is posted, whether buying or selling is gonna be posted here. So the first thing you always wanna do, you come here um, and you're gonna start with what he said to get. So for instance, he said get cost, that's the symbol, January 29th expiry, 382.50 strike price, calls at $2.40, one contract. So what you're gonna do, you will go to your trading platform. First thing you will do, you will type the symbol that you are told, which is cost. Next thing you wanna go to your options channel right there. If this option channel is at six, and we were told to get January 29th, 382.50 calls. You will come here, look for the expiry date that you're looking for, expand it. If you come here and you don't see 382.50 calls, all you have to do is come right here, expand that, add some more strikes. Scroll down and you will see it right here. Now, when you're right here, make sure you're on the side of the calls. This side is calls. You see right there, this side it puts. If you don't wanna be confused, you can just go right here and check calls. So 382.50 calls. And he said $2, make sure you go to $2.40. If you do it quickly, you're gonna come here and you're gonna uh, make sure you're doing the buy, ask, that's the buy. So when you click buy, you come down here on the order entry, make sure it says single option right here. Very soon we're gonna start using other strategies, but for now you wanna make sure it's single option. The symbol is cost, strike is 382.50, expiring January 29th. Make sure right here is call, not a put depending on what you're told. On the buy side, not selling, make sure you're buying it. And then put the quantity that you are told, which is one. If you come here, you will see he said one contract. One, and then you can start with what he said, $2.40 right there, and place order. But if you look at the mid price right here, he's telling you right now cost is going for $2.52. So if you put $2.40, it's not gonna get filled because the price right now is around $2.52. So you can change that to $2.52. Rule of the thumb here. Um, if you're looking at the alert and is $2.40, if the price has gone up more than 10 cents, um, like usually 30% up, you know, don't get it. Wait for it to drop a little bit before you get it um, or you can just forget about it and wait for the next alert. So $2.40, if you were to do 30% of that, you just do $2.40 times 30 divided by 100 and add it to see how much that has gone by $2.40 or $2.40 times 130 
percent to find what the price is. All right, so let's say for instance, you came in there, you got it at $2.52. You just click place order. Pay attention to the day here. You always want to be on the day, not GTC, because GTC means it's good till cancelled. Good till cancelled. If you, this if this post was posted in the morning, uh, and we said two dollar forty in the morning, and then something happens and the market drops. If you had it at GTC, you're gonna get filled at two dollar forty, and the market maybe this cost would have been selling for one dollar ten at that time, meaning you're gonna be losing money. So always do day. And then don't leave this area until you've been filled. So you can place order. If you're not filled, you can go back and cancel it or adjust it a little bit until your order is filled. All right. I think we already talked about calls. Calls on this side, if you have it both, calls right here means the facilitator is betting that the price for this um stock is going to continue to go up hence the calls puts it means the price his betting is going to go low so pay very close attention to what you're told either calls or puts all right let's try another one mgm 31 calls january 15th at 82 cents three contracts so you come here first things first you type in mgm second thing Collapse this and look for January 15th. Thirdly, go to 31, go to the ask. You can even do last price. Make sure it shows buy. Come to the order entry, single option MGM 31 is $1.08 right, $1 right now. So you have to go back here. He bought it at 82 cents. That's already too far gone. All right. But let, let's say, for instance, uh, you came in at the right time and you got it at 82. Mid price is showing you $1.06. I wouldn't get into that because it's already showing you right here the change from what you put in is already 47%. <laughs> you don't want that. So, right here, day, make sure it's day, click on place order. Again, just to recap. If you come and you don't see the strike price come up here, you can even do all so that you can scroll down and come to the price you were told. All right, guys.